So now we'll move to next topic. What's the next topic? Functions. Functions. So function. So we have seen. Can you tell me how many functions we have seen so far from day one? Print, input, right? Len. Okay. Len is a function. Then we discussed about all these data like int, float, str, set, list, tuple, dictionary. Dictionary is called DICT, right? Yes, sir. Now we saw each of these having their own set of functions. Spring will have own functions, list will have own functions. Now all these functions that we have used so far, okay, random, random also have seen random int is a function. So all these functions that we have done so far are called inbuilt functions. Inbuilt function means it is already written for us by the developers of Python. Okay, we are only using them. Okay, now we will learn how to create our own functions. Okay, so what is a function? Function is a in a in a crude way it is just a group of code that you give a name. Okay, so how do you define a function? You define a function using def keyword. Def for defining, okay, definition. Yes, Def, sir. and I'm calling it as my func, okay. And you give simple bracket open and close, okay. And you say comma, and you hit enter, and all the content that you want to group as that function, you will put it inside this. So let's say I want to say print. How are you? Right. Print. I am fine. Print. What's the date today? Print. I don't know. Okay. Now all these groups or statements I have grouped as my fun. Whenever I want to call this, I will simply say my fun. Okay, and I can call it my func whatever times. Okay, so the entire group of code will be called here. So whenever you call this, right, my func, whatever you have written in the function is called. Since this function is in same file, I don't have to import anything. I don't have to import anything. But let's say, okay, I uh, you know, I create a module. As module means what? It's a PUF file. Okay, so let's say, uh, okay, my func is here. Okay, but I want to use in test two. Let's say, I want to use it here. So here, if I say my func, okay, see it's not coming here. So what I do? I will say import. Okay, test one dot py. Okay, or test one. Automatically it means py. So import test one. Now if I say test one dot, you see my func is called. Okay, v stands for variables. Okay, these are the variables we have declared, right? Count is a variable that we have declared. Okay, set four, set three, these are the variables that we have declared. Okay, and we have one, one function which is my func. Okay, so yes, by doing import, we are able to call all the members of that module. File. Okay, so technically we call it as module. Module is nothing but it's a py file where you define all your variables and functions. Okay, and in another file, you can call it, say, I build some function and you want to use it. I will, I will send my file to you. You just attach it here, put it here. And you can start saying import and calling it. You don't have to copy paste. You just attach and start using it. Okay. The moment I say test one dot my func, okay. Now if I run this, whatever I've written there will be caught. Okay. I don't know what all things we have here. So let me, you know, comment all this. Okay. Um, okay. So this may not work. Oops, sorry. 
Cut it, okay, and just control X. Yeah, yeah. No, because there's some in between also there's some comment. So we have to use multiple comments. So that's why I'll control X. Later I will save. Now I run test P2. You see, that is called test one, my funk is called. Now you, you tell me, test one, my funk, Okay, I call, but entire content of this is called. You see this? Entire content is called, not just. Yes, not only my fun, entire content is called here. No, no. So, so see, let me comment this part. Let me comment this part. Now, let me call it. Even this entire thing is called. So, when you import, right, it is like executing that file. If you don't execute it, how will you get the function? So, it is like executing everything, right? So, that's why when you are creating a module, when you're creating a module, you should create only function, okay? So, if I go to test one, Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to define this entire thing. Okay, I'm going to delete it. Okay, and I'm going to call this entire thing as a def test one something. Okay, an entire thing I'm going to give a tag. So this entire content, okay, is a function now. Right? Did you get what I did, everyone? I wrote def test one. Okay? I, have, I wrote dev test one. Okay? This is my function name. And everything else that whatever we have done since morning today, I have actually given tab space so that everything has gone inside the function. Everything has gone inside the function. All the content, I have put it in the function. Okay? So this is your function. Test one is a function. And this def my function is a function. Now, if I run test one, do you get any output? You won't get any output. Why? Because I have created a function. Function is not called automatically. You have to call it explicitly for it to work. So since I'm not calling this function, this is not giving me any output. Now when I go to test two, okay, now when I'm doing import, see nothing will be called now. It is executing test one, but there is nothing in test one. Okay, now if I want test one dot my func, I will call test one my func, and you see, this is repeated. Okay, I can call this two times, multiple times. Okay, functions are not executed by itself. You have to explicitly call it. And just like variables, you define the variables, then you execute the variables, you call the variable. Functions also, you have to define it and then call it. Okay, so for example, if I go back to test one, I cannot say my func here because function definition is below. When I create my func, it's only go and check upward. It will not check down. Okay, so this will not execute. It's already showing at a red line. Okay, I have to define it after defining the function. No, it will work. Okay, so same thing here also. If you see, there's two. Okay, and I, I, between my func, I want to call test one dot test one, right? Now you see. All the set theory operation that we have done is called here, right? Entire thing is called here. Okay, I'll take pause for a for a few seconds. Did you understand what I just did? Yes. Sir. Function is nothing but grouping set of statements. Okay, by giving it a name. 
Why do we all have a name? So that if I talk to you, I'll call your name. Talk to you, I'll call your name. Right? Same thing. We group certain statement with a name. So that whenever I want to call that set, I'll just call by name. Whenever I want to do print, I'll just call print. See, if you look at the print code, it will have five, six lines of code. I don't have to write five, six lines of code. I just have to call print and it will do the trick. Okay? So in test one, we have added, okay, more than 50 lines of code here, right? Maybe 40 lines of code. Okay? Whenever I call test one, this all 40 lines of code will be called. So it is called code reusability. Same code we are using again and again. What is the difference between loop and this? Loop is also running. Yeah, but in the same module, sir, we can't. Uh... No, main difference is in loop, you can loop, you can run at the same space, same time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay? Yes, sir. But yes. here you can call anywhere you want to. Yeah. First line, tenth line, hundredth line, anywhere you want to call, you can call. So function is nothing but it's a name that we give to group of code. Point one. Point two, in it, it have, you can do it in all the languages, okay? Not only here, Java, C, C++, they're called by different names. Okay, in C, we call them library uh, header files. Okay, in Java also we call them as libraries. Here also we call them as libraries. Here, there are two ways. Libraries we'll see later. When we do class and objects, we'll talk about it. Now we're going to module. Module is nothing but, in this case, if you see, we only have functions, right? We only have functions, there's no text here. So this is an example of module. Okay, and I can call it from anywhere. I have to just say import test one and I just call the function it will come. Any question so far? Understood everyone? This is a great way to read your code. You write it once, use multiple times. Digitality means write once, use multiple times. Okay, so this is how, this is what we mean by writing function different types of function. Your function, okay, we, you know, we discussed, right? Uh, difference, difference update, union, union update. Union will return some value. Update will not return. That's why when I say print of the function, it gave nothing. So based on return type, we have two types of function. Function that returns a value, function that does not return a value. Now the function that I have called here, if you see, this does not return anything. So if I say print of my function, let's say, okay, let me comment this. I am saying print test one dot my function. See, when I call my function, it does some set of activities. But when I say print of test one my fun, what happened? What did we get? None. Okay. Here we are calling the function, right? Let me not call it. This is what it's executing. What happened? Okay. Yes. Test two, right? So see, what did it give? It gave none. Because my function is not returning. Now, let's make my function return something. Okay, so I'm going to say the return 100. The return keyword is used and the return keyword will throw the function to where it is being called. So if I write something after return, see, Python is intelligent. Even if I try to write this, this will never get executed because return has to be the last line of function. It returns means it is taking you back to the place where, where it was called. So below this, if you write anything, okay, it does, it will not get executed. So there's no point of writing anything below this. Okay, so here I think PyCharm itself will tell you that code is not reachable or something. Uh, so why would we do return 100 though? Like, uh, it's my wish. Is... I want to return 100. Okay, you can return whatever you want to. Okay. So now so when I run this, yeah. so when I run this, okay, you get 100. So when you say print, 
okay you are getting 100 because 100 is being returned from that function now i can even say i can catch i don't want to print it i can say a equal to test1 dot my function so let's say a equal to test1 dot my function now a will have value 100 now if i say a plus 500 what will i get 600 is printed. So when you call the function, first the function is executed. So when you see these four lines, from where are we getting these four lines? Because I'm calling this function and function is printing all the four lines. Printing it. So, so see, I told you right one thing. Functions are not called automatically. Functions are never called automatically. We have to call it. Okay. Now, when we call this function, okay, it goes to the beginning line. Okay, it comes here. And we'll start executing line by line. We'll start executing line by line. And then we'll come to return. And when, re when it says return on last line, okay, there's no more line or the last line, it comes back to from where it was called. Okay, now giving another example. Let's say I use here, I'm, I'm back in test one and I'm saying print hello. Okay, and I want to run test one. Okay, which line will be executed first here? If I test, if I run test one, which line will be the first line to get executed? 56 yeah. will be the first line to get executed. Okay, anything? Before 56 will never ever get executed. The first line that will get executed is line number 56. Okay, because before that, I'm going to define the function. Function definition is never called. First line that will get executed is line number 56. Now I'm saying print thank you. Which line will get executed second? 57. Thank you. 57. Now if I say my fun. Okay. What is the third line to get executed? 58. Yes, sir. Print. I am done for the day. Which is the fourth line to get executed? 59. No. Fourth line is your 49. Because when you're calling a function, now the function is getting called. Line number one is, hello, this. This is line number two. This is line number three. Line number four comes here now. Line number five. Line number six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm done for the day is line number? 10. 10. 10 is the line number for 10th line that will be executed. I know I know it's 59. Yes, but yes, yes. This is the tenth line that is being executed. One, okay. Only when you call the function, function will be get executed. So here, this, this, now this. So it goes here. Okay, execute, and then it comes back to 58. Then we go to 59. It's like saying, go to that line and come back to me after you are done. So when you call a function, this is called function definition, okay? This is called function definition. And this is called call or calling the function. Okay? When you call the function, that's when function gets executed. So calling is like go there, execute, and come back. Go there execute and come back, okay? So I've written a function, okay, which does four lines of print. So when the function is called, it performs four lines of print and it returns this 100 to this, okay? If I want to catch the return value, if I want to catch the return value, I have to say something equal to, okay? So return value, so return value will have value what? 100. Okay, your return can be whatever that uh, return is we have discussed. All the data that we have discussed can be returned. 
int float string okay bool what else complex what else list tuple okay set. dictionary set. set okay and we will do future numpy pandas all those things can be returned any data type any data can be returned okay and if you want to catch it you will catch it here okay and if you want you can use it in your analysis so when we do you a plus b or set one dot union it returns the final output it returns the final output when you say update it has no return value this is not there the return will not be there that's why we get none okay i think i'm running test 2 right and it will run test 1 okay we'll do one example we'll do it we'll stop okay we'll do one simple example here it is not showing 100 no sir in between so what it is being just caught in written value am i doing anything with 100 sir am i am i doing anything with 100 am i printing it am i doing anything 100 nothing 100? yes 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 so it is just uh, written in yes yes so and and we are catching that here no sir written value you are catching it but am i yes. printing it no 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 yeah then okay. yes sir yes so hello thank you then it goes to a function right and then comes back and says i am done for the day okay now let's do one simple thing okay Sir, one minute. Sorry. One minute. Sorry for the interruption. No. Uh, in fifty eighth line, uh, just you remove that written value, sir. Just place only my func and run it once, please. We did that before, no? One Rita, second, sir, please. We have already done it before. Okay. And if you want to change it, you do it. Don't make me do. I don't like anybody making me work. Okay, sir. Okay. You yes, do sir. the work. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Just uh, that was just joke. but yes you try it you try different ways you see the error then you will realize okay yes sir yeah and i did it i did it uh, you know without using this we'll do one last program we'll end the day we'll end the day early yes Let's sir do a program which performs um, area and perimeter of a rectangle write a function which performs or which calculates area and perimeter and prints it that's it okay let's do one and we'll end the day quickly write a function so this is how you write the function right when i call it nothing will happen so what i have to do is i have to call this function right so i'm going to say my cal okay now it says the area per meter are 3000 to 20 maybe we can add what respectively okay so okay save this program tomorrow not tomorrow tomorrow we are not meeting right day after will continue working with this program okay now assignment for tomorrow is assignment for tomorrow when i am not there please use this time write or convert all the functions that you have done so far all the logic all the programs into functions all the programs that you have done so far convert into functions that means like i'm doing this one right set so i've converted into function isn't it what did i do i just put their function name that's all and moved everything one step inside 
got it what i'm saying guys everyone on the phone all yes, the sir. programs that we have done all the programs that we have done convert that into function okay so you call it as def let's say string one string two list one list two dictionary one dictionary two okay and so simply just say def function name bracket open close colon and move everything into give one tab space okay okay convert everything into function okay and then tomorrow no, day after i'll tell you how to use return and how to use parameters